do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Uh-huh. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine. Go off in a huff. I'm through talking anyway. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Verdammt. Oh. Cool. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? B? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Uh -huh. Tak, porozmawiajmy. Dobra. Jak to było? Hej, hej, cia, 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 się manko. Albo. Hej, ha, cia, cia, manko, szybki ludzie. A gdzie w kolejnym odcinku? Z wikła wśród nas, po polsku. Dobra zabawa. Muszę pobadam coś tu. O co gadajcie? Puk, puk. Obradek ślubny. Wszystko? Nic do badania więcej. Nic hotelów. Nawet ładny macie domek. Od cholery, to nie pieniędzy. <laughs> I co, dzisiaj już? Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Please! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do. We so should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you be 
being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived? Mhm. Mm hmm. Uh, let me just step. Uh... A day at the beach? Skiing a slope? <laughs> and we can't finish this conversation right first. Now. I Leave should a get that. The Come on. We'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there... I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Mm -hmm. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is... It's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Y you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. So when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? 
Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Bigby. Kurve. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Mm -hmm. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could... Help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. <laughs> Dobra, słuszna decyzja, okej. Okay. Przekonamy się, co się podejmę. A bo oni mają długi u tego pewnie. Garbusa jeszcze, co? Mhm. Super. Dobra, idziemy. Na Lucky Path. Zobaczmy, co tam będzie. It's dirty. No, it's not. Looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Dad, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Oi, well, oi. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This will take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much. So forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be. Since his whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. It's not worth it, Toad. What? Sometimes it's worth it? You know, depending. I mean, I don't even know what he's talking about. 
When has a crooked man loan ever been worth it, Jack? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Mash. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. It's a poor monkey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by anytime. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. Look, mm -hmm. Slash, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? Uh -huh. So don't look so surprised. Mm -hmm. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The mm. woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. That and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that. Yep. And now you're going to tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning... Anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Then why'd you try to get Toad to take one? I have to. It's like a quota. Jack? They check my records. I have to open up so many loans a month, or I'm in the shit too. That's the real business here, Bigby. Not the pawn shop crap. Listen, Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... I wanna check stuff out here first. This is a crooked man place. Maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. No, teraz się rozglądamy. No, badamy coś dobre. Co to jest? Just my luck. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Pieścionki takie, biżuteria, nie? Złoto coś. Złoto, złoto. I tam co? Mhm. Ryba? Take something like this. Uh, uh, what? 
I, I, I don't, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was the woodsman here? Was who here? The woodsman. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. We pawn it. Usually doesn't let that thing out of his sight. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Ugh. What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. You know where she lives? Where she took it? I don't know where that crazy chick lives. And I don't want to know. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? Mm -hmm. And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... If you got my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is Zach's even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you, I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum. So tell me what you're here for, or get the fuck out. Tom? Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone of... Dupku. <laughs> wrong? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the crooked man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed the Tak, pierwsze zajęcia, żeby też nie. The sheriff had who he stupid. Nie zali tu pierwszych zajęć swoich. Jeszcze Ojej, rudy palancie. Hmm. O, chcesz gadać? Hmm. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, Jersey. Hmm. O, czekasz. Hmm. Się kiery nie ma. O, właśnie. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right o. fucking here. Co ja zabrał? Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? 